so many motor oils, so many types of motor oils, and so many different viscosities. When it comes to motor oils, which one should we put in our vehicle? Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. It's all about motor oil and viscosities. And I brought in Len, an expert. Why do we have an expert? Well, Len, I kind of got a rudimentary experiment when it comes to oil and how to explain viscosity. And what we did a little bit earlier is we took some 20W50 weight oil and we dropped a ball in it. And it's all kind of controlled, the temperature's controlled. You can see the ball going kind of slowly down there. Then we went ahead and got the zero W20 oil and we did the same test. We dropped the ball in and when we dropped the ball in, man, you can see that one's running right down. Take us through that viscosity as an expert. Yeah, that gets you there as a test. That's why I kind of like that. It gives you a real down and dirty look at what viscosity actually means. In actual terms, multi-viscosity oil, meaning oil that has two numbers. Generally, the first number would be your cold temperature uh, pumpability number. So generally taken at you know room temperature or lower in most cases, 0W, 10W, that's your low temperature number. So how is the oil going to act when it's cold? The other number is the interesting part. The other number is the oil's actual weight, but that weight is only accurate at 212 degrees F, also known as 100 Celsius. Okay, that is a standard at which all motor oils are graded in their weight. So if we have a 0W20, it's only a 20 weight 100C or 212 F. Uh, all oils, all synthetic oils are not created equal. Uh, the better the base oil that you start with in the product with the less additives that you have to add, you'll see more consistency. You'll see more consistent pressure across a wide temperature band.